cold. I thought that tree man was going to fall yesterday last night, y'all. I'm all right. See the trees? They go over my roof. The hubby, he shoveled and put salt down. But yeah, got snow in still full of leaves. Twigs, too nasty. Uh, let's go back in the house, peeps. Hubby gave me, he gave me this today. This is my December gift. And you can put it in the car. Yeah. yeah. I just unplugged it. So yeah. What is I mean, you could put, you could hook it up to the car. So I'm that's in here. I had to clean my toothpaste holder and put a new backing on it. And when I took it off, y'all, it was stuck. The paint came off with it and everything. It was a whole situation. So I had to spackle the spot. Then I had to find some paint to uh, paint the wall. This what color it is. This what color to match the wall because my landlord didn't give me the swatch. So I be color match, trying to color match stuff. So I did it right here. You can't even tell. It matched good with the wall, but this the part I did. I attached it. Cause this was my uh toothpaste holder be at. So I had to clean it and then it, and I had to pull it off and this much paint came off. So I had to go to I took the paint that came off to Home Depot and he color matched it. I needed a color color. So I just patched it yesterday, and then painted it a little while ago. So yeah, can't even tell. It's different. I think he matched it up pretty good. So I'm gonna get ready to stick it back on in a little bit. In a little bit. So yeah, got that done. Like this is crooked to me. Don't forget your roots. And my daughter went to Italy, right? Let me show y'all what she bought me. She got all us a gift. <clears throat> but what she got me? She got me these earrings, man. Y'all need to see the full effect of these earrings. Oh, man. 
So pretty. Blue back there. Made out of glass. So yeah, I guess that's about it, peeps. I want y'all to see me in my raw form before I get ready to get my try to do a little something. I got this hat on my head. See, it's cold. I think that's about it. It's cold. He bought me no massage. I gotta hang this back up in the bathroom. Well, so now if I take take it down and the paint come off, these things be sticking. Well, the one that came with this, that's the one that pulled the paint off. But this is my own. I bought this myself. I don't think it might stick, have that type of stickiness on it. But if it do happen to stick, um, I had to soak it in bleach, pants all, and Dishwasher liquid gets all cleaned out up in there. It, it came out real good. And all up under there. Yeah, it was clogged. The toothpaste wasn't coming out right. So, yeah, I got her done. And, yep, so I'll be back, y'all. With a, um, somebody got crumbs on the table. Yep, it's by her side, too. And Shan did the light boxes for the month of November. Rain did this. Home is. Home is. Where the heart is. She came up with that all by herself. I'm like, look at you, girl. Ah, oh, and I did my little, I did my little vase thing, my little flower thing over. Oh, the little black flower. I put the feathers on this side. Then I put some red flowers and I had head bought these because I was gonna use it for that. But I didn't want I didn't want to put this on there. I did something else different with them. So I just stuck them up in here. A little cute right there though. So yeah, it ain't too big and bulky now. I like this. I might change the ribbons out. Because this is the same ribbon I had since we did them. These, these mason jars we did. Rena did this one. We painted, sprayed, we painted it. Back then I went into spray paint. And I think it's a leaf. A little like. It's an opening for like if you want to put one of them candles in. Yeah. It's a leaf. You could put it and stick it down up in there. I got like little beads and stuff down up in here. So you could sit it on there and it could flicker through there. And like. Shan, which one you did? The white one? And Shan. She here did the white one. 
I might change these flowers out because they've been in there basically ever since I did it. So I might just switch up the ribbons and stuff. So she in here did this one. And we hand painted it with acrylic paint. And I did that one over there. This one I hand did. Yeah, I might change all the flowers out eventually and give it a different look over there. Probably add some little white and I like the feather look. So, yeah, that'll probably be like over the winter project or something. But all right, peeps, I'll be back for this read. Hey, peeps. How y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? That's good. It's cold where you at? Man, y'all. Today is Monday, November the 26th at 1.45 in the p.m. We just finished up homeschooling. And uh, this is my week. Last week I had to cook. That wore me out. <laughs> it wore me out because I did a lot of crop pot meals. And so I was having to get up like extra early to get, get the meals on. And then a couple of days I was having to leave out. Oh, yeah. So, y'all already know how my Mondays is. We ain't even got to talk about it, dude. Do I have to break it down to you how just coming? Oh, y'all. Saturday, we went to see Creed 2. That movie was good. It's the message, man. And I was like, I just got to thinking. Y'all know how my brain just wondered, right? So, I was like, man, because the kids... Which we, this is like their second time. Done did the marathon of all the Rockies, right? Because we knew we was going to see Creed too. So they seen it before at all, but they just recently, like, I think this month, November, I think they just recently did. Watched all the Rockies. I think they said it was five or seven, something like that. But uh, I didn't actually rewatch them with them. But they watch TV in here, so I'll be at my dad's. So some I'll turn around and watch. Some I'll be like, oh, I ain't in the mood to watch that. But y'all know he wrote mostly, he wrote all the Rockies. Wow. And the Creeds. Like, that's, that's, that's talent, man. Sylvester Stallone. Like, seriously? Like, that's some good writing. And how he carried, been carrying these Rockies over into Creed all these years. Man, that's something really like, wow. That's a, that's talent. I don't know, gift, talent, or whatever, but the story last, they all of them been good. Like, everybody, I think the first one was made back in the 80s, 70s. I don't even know, the 80s. And it's 2018, and he's still carrying this story. Like, the same, like, it ain't like writing a different whole new book. Like, he keeping it going, like, wow. That's that's just good. And Creed, it was, it was real good. It was real good. I liked the first one, too. But this one was, like, it was, it was deep. It was deep. Had the hubby even shedding tears. He like, for real, it's good. And I'm like, he write this? Anyway, I don't want to spend too much time talking about that. It's just, it's a lot of, it's a lot of good messages in there. That, like, and you think about the beginning. I think all of them had messages. But I guess when it crossed over into Apollo's son, it kind of like touched home. You know what I'm saying? You like. I see, I see you, Sylvester Stallone. I see you. <laughs> but, okay. But, um, my weekend, that's what we did Saturday. For dinner, we had Taco Bell because I wasn't cooking for to come back and cook. So, we had the $5 box. Look. <laughs> I love me some tacos. So, therefore, it's my hair come loose. I love. I could eat tacos every day if my body would allow me to, but I get gassy real quick. 
but Taco Bell, Peppies, man. Then the restaurant, oh, we got another little spot around the house, like in a hood spot that sell tacos. Them good too. I think they, they he only sell chicken and steak dog. He don't sell the beef, but chicken tacos good too. And they be good, man. Like I can eat Taco Bell. Like some people don't like Taco Bell, but I'm like, what? I've been eating Taco Bell like in the beginning of having kids. <laughs> well, my older kids, like we used to go on picnics and stuff, and I get them some Taco Bell to take on the picnic to have something to eat or whatever. Just been eating Taco Bell forever. Uh, they said the meat ain't real. Or whatever. <laughs> but y'all, uh, my daughter, child number two, she went to Italy last Friday, Thursday. Y'all know me in days and numbers. But anyway, her and her friend, and she got back. I didn't know. She left like on a... I don't even remember. I don't remember. But she got back Friday. And she came over Saturday. Because we all went to the movies together. And she got the hubby a hat. Oh, I ain't show y'all his hat. But I'll probably show up when I finish the video. But she bought me them earrings and a little necklace. I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. It's made out of glass. I'm like, ooh, y'all know me. I be all into the details. I had to, like, get my little magnifying glass. Like, how they get that up in there? I'm like, in the back of it is blue. I ain't never seen nothing like this before. But, yeah, she said it was, she said she enjoyed herself for the most part. But I'm like, well, at least you could add that to your list. You don't been to Italy. She don't been to Puerto Rico. I said, where you want to go next? She was talking about Canada. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, then she, they brought up Egypt. She brought up Egypt. I'm like, oh, yeah, that will be a good place to go. I said, even though Egypt don't look like it used to look, but America don't either. So, but when you go over there, you might, you might run into, you might, they might have museums around to show you. You can see pictures or stuff like that. You know, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that was that with the gift. She always picking on me. She always bad me little stuff here and there. And everything. She, I'm like, she get that from me. Because um, that's this type of stuff I do. You know, I always giving. I'm a giver. And so when I get, I be like, what? I be shocked. <laughs> so, yeah. But I don't, I don't really expect nothing from nobody. I, I like making people feel good and putting a smile on people's face, making their hearts happy. If I can just do that, be that type of impression or that type of reaction or that type of feeling to somebody, that's good enough for me. So, yeah. And Sunday, I cooked. I fixed the ham, two small ones. The canned ham, old school canned ham, armor. No, I was about Hormel. I was trying to find a five pound one. I think it's five pound, but I ain't gonna find that. So I bought two, three pound one. I fixed that yesterday. I found some recipes off the internet. And I made some uh, stove top sweet potatoes and I made crock pot cabbage. And we had some Hawaiian, what's it called? Uh, Hawaiian rolls. And I put bacon, I put salt pork in my. Um, cabbage I let all that cook together and it was good man I haven't had no sweet potatoes in a long time you know so cause they just I fixed seven sweet potatoes they hard to cut <laughs> you like damn but me and the girls they peeled them and me and Rena kind of sliced them up but it was kind of hard slicing. I mean, unless you got some really good sharp knives. But knives ain't that sharp. But, uh, but yeah, it was really tasty. Everybody was like, oh, that was good. That was good. I'm like, yeah. 
But it wore me out because I had to, I was cooking stuff on a schedule. And it's like, it took me, I had to get up like six something to get the cabbage going. Because it had to cook like around seven. Because I had to cut the cabbage up and all that. I got it going about 7.30. And they said it take between four to six hours. So I let it cook about six hours. And it was real tender and good. Real good. And um, so that's what I did basically yesterday. But... Yeah, I did a lot of crop pot meals this week, last week. But this is my break week, and I need it, for real, for real, to regroup. And we got to go to the grocery store Saturday. And we going to see Robin Hood Saturday. So we got to probably get up early to hit that grocery store to get back, put the food up, to get ready to go to the show to see Robin Hood. But again... I like busying myself and wearing myself out because I feel productive that way. I really do. <laughs> and maybe that just came from having kids. Like, you know, I didn't have time by me having my first child at 18. I didn't have time to just chill like that because I had to be about my baby. My mama wasn't, my mama babysitting, what? <laughs> I don't know how many parents, like, my mama was like, I ain't watching nobody kids. She was for real. <laughs> for real, for real. So, parents will start with me as soon as I had my daughter. So, yeah. So, I just didn't have time. And then, after four years, four years later, I had my second child. And from that point on, it was boom, 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 boom. Then, uh, ten months later, I had another one. Then, a year later, I had another one. Then, a year later. Hey. So, I'm kind of used to, like, being busy and being about and doing stuff from taking care of babies to always washing to cleaning, making sure your floor is clean, ain't nothing on the floor, making sure they got clothes, washing them up, getting them baths, doing their hair. Because my oldest girl, my second a girl, my third was is a girl, then I had my son, he had hair too. You know, and it was me and I used to do this hair before I decided to cut it. I don't know how old he was, but I always was in that mold, you know, from living with my mom. Because my mom didn't play that. Oh, she had me cooking. Oh, look. <laughs> Till I left up out of there. I was cooking for everybody in the house. Cleaning. Everything. I why you couldn't, I just didn't have that life, like, just lay in the bed and chill. That's why naps, what's that? I got to really be tired or sick to take a nap. Look, I'm going to have to, I'll be right back. I got to cut my fan on. I'm getting hot. So, yeah, I had to cut my fan on, y'all. I'm coming up out that road, having a hot flash. So, yeah, I just didn't have time to just, like, on weekends, the way our household was set up with my mom, you think how since a weekend you feel to lay down all day? Uh-uh. She said, get, she'll come in there, clapping her hand, talking about today ain't your birthday, rise and shine. I mean, you just couldn't lay in the bed all day like that, and I'm not the type that lay in the bed yet. I never was. I guess that's probably the way she raised me and trained me. So it take a lot for me to take a nap. I have to really be like, tired like sick kind of drained tired and to take naps and stuff because i'm used to being up a long period of time from having babies if they teething and sick they get they they not if they sick i can't sleep you know so i'm i'm all my man is just like that so when i wear myself out but being 51 when a, a war out at 51, it's getting like, uh, I think I'm going to come into naps now because it's like I need a little shut out to regroup to continue my day now, you know. But back in the day, my 20s, my 30s, my 40s, it just started happening in my 50s where I'm starting to feel naps coming. I'm, I'm needing a nap unless back when I, get, you know, get sick or something, you know, your body just needs to rest. And I, God just shut me down, like, laying in bed for two days. Because <laughs> I just can't do nothing when I'm not feeling good. I got a fever or my body just aching. Because I'm just used to pushing through whatever it is, man. I don't, 
if I ain't feeling good, they won't know because I just keep it moving. I mean, I have to really be in pain, pain for it to shut me down. So, yeah. So, I like being wore out. It makes me feel accomplished, productive. Like, I got her done, you know. I, I don't have, like, a lazy spirit on me or nothing like that. And, I don't know. I just like doing stuff. And when I do get my energy, if I feel tired and I sit down, I regroup. And I, I do something else. Like, I vacuum maybe sometimes two, two, three times a day. You know, because they be doing their hair. I just don't like hair on the floor. If I see something, I just like to keep my floors clean. That probably came from having babies, you know. Like, I'm, my eyes done became very detailed to the little things. Because I had to be like that. For having kids and a lot of babies around her, like step steps. Yeah, like you ain't fit to choke on my watch. <laughs> Yo, let me get into this read. So, I hope y'all enjoyed y'all weekend and everything. And um, if it was just chill, relaxed, and regroup for this week, you know. It's a blessing to be able to do that. You know, as long as you woke up to see another day, it's a blessing, man, because death is real out here in these streets. Okay. So here we go. I'm still in chapter two. And oh, we're on the prayer, y'all. Yeah, we get ready to pray. So here we go. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this prayer? Y'all ready to start y'all week off with a prayer? Ain't no better way. To start a week off with a prayer. Especially the way it's set up outside, man. I think we had an ice storm. It wasn't, that was snow. That was ice, sleet, hell, whatever. Sleet. It was hitting these windows, man. I had to, I woke up like 3 something in the morning. Because these, these trees, the leaves go all over the roof. And they the wind was so strong last night. It was like, felt like someone was fell on the house or something, scratching all up on the top of the roof. I had to actually get out of my bed and look out my windows to check it out. Like, is the tree still standing? I had to see what was going on because I had to call hubby. It was like 3 something in the morning, I think. Yeah, I'm like, look, I'm paranoid right now. <laughs> Because my man was going 50 miles a minute because I'm like, wait, what, what is that, what is, what's going on? And that wind was so strong, man. It was traumatizing me. So I called him and he's like, yeah, same thing happening here and everything. But it was to get my man, to calm my man down and everything. So I had to talk to him for a minute. Good thing he answered the phone because sometimes it'd be a hit and miss. I called him that time of night and everything but it was scary i was scared last night i don't play with this weather you know and i said a prayer I'm like lord don't let no hurt harm or danger come up on me and, the, and me and my family while we sleep and i look it gets so bad i'm like now if that tree fall where would it land what would, i'm like would it crush crush the it'll crush the roof land i'm right there in that room laying in the bed i'm like it because I was just like, when the wind was blowing, I was looking at the leaves outside, seeing which direction the wind was coming from. And it seemed like it was going that way. But the, it's so many branches up. They really need to cut these trees right here in front of this house because, I mean, it give out good shade in the summer, but all the twigs was on the porch, all in front of head fell on a couple of cars it was twigs not branch you know the big branches and stuff i'm like i'm just not feeling these two trees right here they be spooking me i'm like but they've been standing all these years i don't think it's gonna fall the hubby like well it's the first time i'm like don't don't you say that because <laughs> i'm already spooked yeah it took me a minute to go back to sleep it was three something Mm. So yeah, you have to um, 
what I what I don't know what 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 made me go there. I was talking about something, but whatever. I I need I wanted to share that part with y'all too because that had me up. I'm on my little bike out from right there and got over there so I could see out my window and just look up and see what them trees was doing. It's like late early this morning, like. Why is y'all making that? It, it knocked my address sand down. And then my mailbox, it was lifting it up. And it'll fall back down. That wind was strong. Like, it was having a whole conversation. Like, for real? Can you go somewhere else? <laughs> and we had power outages in, in the suburban areas in Illinois. But a lot of people power went out. I was hoping out. I'm like, man... Oh, I ain't ready. I got to go get some more candles. And when I heard that, I'm like, I ain't ready. I'm just not ready. And who is back on power outage in the wintertime? But I, I declare we had an ice storm last night. When the, when the sun he left, he, uh, he had to put some salt down on the uh, steps because it was just frozen. It's like it was, it was slick. It was shiny. And so they was like, if you ain't got to go nowhere, don't go. Or use public transportation because the roads was just going to be slippery with ice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, prayer power. We need to send those prayers up. I think that's what there was. I, I think that was the focal point right there. That's why we need to pray. Start our week off with a prayer. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do I don't do all that what was happening last night that is settled well in my spirit <laughs> oh my god come on let's get our pray on y'all for real for real okay let's do this Lord I thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit in me help me to never restrict the spirit's flow moving in and through me changing me into your likeness and touching others for your kingdom it is right there. I pray for a fresh feeling of your spirit right now, greater than I have ever known before. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your power and might on my behalf. Mm. Thank you that you give me access to your power for your purposes. I know that it's not by my strength or power, but by the power of your spirit that I can do great things for you. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. Thank you that rivers of your living water flowing in me will keep me from ever thirsting again. Thank you for your dynamite love of power that can change the course of anything in my life that is headed in the wrong direction. Thank you that your spirit in me is a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> That's that tad. That's a Monday well. Um, John chapter 4 verse 14. And it's a source of power beyond anything I can imagine. I don't ever want to even attempt to misuse your power in any selfish way for my own personal gain. Amen. Keep my heart pure before you at all times. Not sometimes, most times, at all times. Help me to be a vessel through which your power can manifest itself to serve your purposes. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. And that's my prayer. That's the prayer right there. I remember I, this, this is seriously like when I just go to church back in the day. I used to be up under my auntie and stuff. I used to, and she used to, it was a, it was like a system how my auntie um, would have me and my cousin. And when I would go home, because I used to go to church with her all the time and spend the night out there with her all the time, because she was the one that took me to church all the time. My mama, not so much. But she'd be like, when you go home, you make sure you read your Bible. You make sure you pray and all that so when I would get in my room and close my door and get on my knees and pray and I look I think I was in grammar school high school 
I think I was in high school. I think a sophomore in high school, maybe. And I get on, go in my room and get on the floor, and I say my prayer. And this is the type of prayer I used to pray, like Lord, use me for uh, your kingdom and keep me humble. And it was, it, was, it used to be a prayer. I used to pray over and over, cause I was learning how to pray, and that's how I started praying. And it's something I used to say all the time. I don't want to be fake. That's I used to always say that in my prayer. Like, I don't want to be fake. I want to be real. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be this. I don't want to be no hypocrite, basically. And so, I, 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 I started my prayers off like that. Now, today, my prayers is mostly like, Lord, your trees out here is doing the most. Okay? <laughs> We cool now, man. Me and my Heavenly Father like this. But in the beginning, I was learning. Now, now, I'm like, I just talk to my Heavenly Father about whatever. Look, pray about whatever. And if somebody is vexing my spirit, I'm going to my Heavenly Father about it. I have to do those type of things today because he know me. I be ready to go there, but I be like, look, Lord, I'm, I'm serious. This is how I talk. I'm like, man, you saw that, right? You saw that. How she, how she just gonna come for me like that? I'm like, she don't know me. She really don't know me. A lot of people don't know me. That's how I used to go like, ooh, what? But uh, I don't learn. How to take all that to my Heavenly Father and let it go. It was a struggle. And I don't struggle with it no more like I used to. Because my flesh, A, because the way I was brought up in my my path, my journey. You know, I used to fight a lot. For real, for real, man. I just did. I don't know, but that's just part of my story, you know. And so... Not so much that I startled, but I had to, like, back down. What? Care who you is? What? A guy, couple of females. It's just not in my DNA to back down. I don't care, you know. And so, today, when I feel like I'm being, that feeling coming, I have to just think and meditate and be like, nah, Sharon. Mm -mm. And so I just take it to the Lord because I have to get it out. I have to. I talk to the hubby about it. I have to talk to my Heavenly Father about it. Like, look, help me. Calm me. <laughs> Speak to my heart, Holy Spirit. And I know you got them, you know? So, yeah. Uh, I'm a firm believer of prayer. I pray all the time about any and every, especially having a lot of kids, y'all. Man, I think me and the Lord, me and my Heavenly Father got closer because I closer due to that, me having a lot of kids and stuff because I just, it's just times got really, really hard. And then some, it's some, sometimes got really, really dark. And I'm like, I don't know, Lord, what to do. I feel stuck. I feel like I'm drowning right now. You know, I need help. SOS, help me. So, yeah, I'm a firm believer in prayer. So, and it have a word power. She has two word powers. I guess I could read that too. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Here go the second scripture. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. I got it on. So I read this to here. So yeah, I'm done, y'all. And I ain't make a video Friday. I was supposed to put up a video Friday, but I was too tired. I had to go out Friday to get some... um. I needed some stuff for my meal I was cooking. So I had got out early because I wasn't trying to be a part of the madness. So I had to go to Home Depot and get the paint. Because I wanted to do that over uh, while we was out for this little break. 
clean my toothpaste holder out because it was clogged with toothpaste. And when I saw the paint coming off, I'm like, dang, I ain't got no paint to paint over that. I had some before, but it got all clotted and stuff. So we had to go out and do that because I want to do that over the weekend. Get that done, that bathroom. And then I needed some cabbage. Look, odds and ends. So by the time I got back, I ain't feel like making no video. I'm like, well, it's okay. I'll make one Monday. I'll make up for Friday. So this video might be an hour long because you know they be like 30 minutes, 30 minutes. <laughs> Oh, okay, because I ain't talked to y'all Friday, so I got that built-in conversation, that chit-chat for Friday, and Monday, this is it, y'all, this is why this is happening like this, <laughs> so yeah, but I'm gonna let y'all go, because now I gotta get ready to edit this. And I want to go lay down and watch some Blue Bloods and stuff since I'm chilling this week. I think I'm going to actually really chill because I did stuff over the break and everything. I was knocking out stuff on my list. But I'm always looking for stuff to do because y'all know me. I'm a busy bee in my home though, not at other people's lives. You get it? Got it? Good. All right, on that note, y'all, I hope everybody have a blessed Monday, a safe Monday, a productive Monday. Get her done, if you can, you know, if you can, and have a protective Monday in your house and in these streets as you're walking, as you're walking downstairs, y'all, because you know, especially us older folks. We got to be careful when we're walking down these steps because we just slip and fall. And you'll never be the same again. Be like Humpty Dumpty trying to get back right again. So be, uh, have a protective Monday. And on that note, I'm out. Peace and love. Share some and what? I holla. Bye, y'all. See you Wednesday with another read.